What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, and we have got a brand new European Clubs Guardians pack. You've got Fortress Makalele, we've got Varan, who's a brand new epic, and of course, we have Belletti as well, who rounds it off. Could have been a couple of players. Julio Cesar was there as well. There was a couple of others floating around, but it is Belletti as a right back. Varane is probably the big hype, but I'm going to give it to you straight, lads. Varane is a little bit disappointing. Now, he won't be disappointing if you haven't been playing the game for long. And if you, you know, need a player that's kind of new and, you know, obviously the nostalgic factor is always extremely strong. I wouldn't be disappointed if I spun for Varane and I got him in a couple of spins. Definitely not. But in terms of meta, in terms of in-game level and in terms of starting eFootball 25 with the best players, if that's what you're into, I think Varane definitely needs a little bit more analysis which is what we're going to do today, right? And we will have a training guide for Makalele. I think it's the best build of him, but you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think. So this pack is the European Club Guardians. We have the rest of these boys in here as well. There isn't really anything of note here. Obviously, you've got Manchester United's new signing. Uh, he's still in the Bayern kit there, but we'll get him out of that soon enough. He'll be in, he'll be in uh, United. Happy enough with the transfer dealings from a United fan's perspective so far. We'll talk about that in the live stream later as well. But it is all about Belletti, Makalele, and Varane. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on Belletti. He is just your kind of average attacking fullback, honestly. I don't feel that there's a need. He has got crossing, but there's been loads of these right backs that have kind of made their way to the game, uh, that are like attacking fullbacks, that have got early crosser, that have got pinpoint crossing, that have got good, in fairness to him, he does have fairly good lofted passing, that's where he gets the booster as well, with the crossing plus two, speed acceleration, balance is quite poor, but his speed acceleration is quite good, his tight possession is quite poor, so that's kind of a bit of a, a concern, listen, you're not going to get a better crosser of the ball, than the likes of Bale, Beckham, or even Alexander Arnold, who they released a while ago, but I do feel that Belletti definitely holds a place for for himself i mean he's not a bad player whatsoever i mean obviously he's he's got a couple of weak areas he doesn't have any defense to talk of really he is just basically like a right kind of three five two right wing back um which a lot of people don't use a lot of people don't use out wide because it is kind of a little bit inconsistent for crosses and headers but he is pretty decent i mean you can just get his speed his acceleration and his stamina all to 90 or a little bit over that you're not going to be able to do much with his balance. I haven't even done a training guide for him, to be honest with you. It's been mostly dealing with Makalele. But Belletti is pretty decent. He's not that difficult to train, get his aggression to 75, his speed acceleration to 90, and then wherever else you want to throw his stats. I mean, I would put his loft to pass to 90 as well. And then wherever his stats do uh, do fall into that. He's got some nice player skills as well. Apologies if you are excited about Belletti, lads. For me, I just have so many right backs that it's so easy to train these guys. Honestly, it's so easy to train them. Now, we want to talk about Varane, right? So again, I'm going to go over Varane a little bit more in more detail in the live stream, right? He does look really good in game. He definitely has a high... Um, a high, like, you know, red scan or whatever it's called. He definitely does look in good in game there. Uh, he gets a booster as well, which is his technique plus two. He's got long ball expert and long ranger. He's got rising shot, long range shooting, first time shot, one touch pass, true passing, way to pass, outside curler, and a low lofted, as well as fighting spirit. It's definitely a really good card that I thought would be a lot slower than he is. He's definitely faster than I thought he was going to be. Um, and I'm actually impressed with him. Now, I'm going to show you straight up, right? This is the auto-allocated version of one Sebastian Varane, okay? 85 speed, 81 acceleration, 92 kick and power. Physical contact is going to be 82, and his balance is going to be 83. But he's going to have 95 uh, defensive awareness with this, 85 aggression. This is just the auto-allocate. So this is just if you auto-allocate him. And to be honest with you, it's actually not a bad option for him. The only thing that he's kind of lacking on there is the balance obviously doesn't go past 85, and his tight possession doesn't go past 90. And I think there's too much in defense. I think you're wasting your time kind of throwing defense on Varane. Let his player skills, if you can throw interception or blocker on him and you're playing him with a double pivot as a DMF um, or a CMF, orchestrators just don't have that player ID. Yes, you can force him to do it, but I think Varane's strengths lie in his ability to just get on the ball and make something happen. Well, still being pretty, pretty decent. I mean, he's not a bad option at all. So this build that you see here of him is going to have 90 balance, 90 type possession, 85 speed, 89 acceleration. It's a very decent card. And I think when you look at him this way, the 101 overall version of him, even though he's got 85 tackling and only 83 aggression, he's still over 90 with his defense for an orchestrator, which is huge. He's got 90 tight possession, 92 low pass, 92 ball control, 90 balance, 93 kick and power, nearly at 90 acceleration and 85 speed with 85 curl. It's not at the top tier level of orchestrators. It definitely isn't. 
but it's not a bad card whatsoever. Honestly, it's not a bad card at all. And I do feel that when you're looking at this guy, you're going to be training him up and playing him in a slightly different way. Now, Makalele is obviously the prize here on offer, okay? The Destroyer. Some people say he is one of the best DMFs in the game. I would probably put him top three. Him, Riker, and Vieira are my three go-to. Uh, I know Zakaria is nice as well. He's got double touch off the rip, one touch pass off the rip, interception, fortress, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. I, t I definitely think you need to give Makalele, just for his type of play, you need to give him blocker, you need to give him area superiority, you probably need to give him one touch, or not one touch pass, uh, outside curler as well, I would give him that, uh, but he has everything else in abundance, it's a fantastic card, this is definitely one of the best cards, I'm not going to waste your time, I'm just going to give you the best build, right, um, this is my, in my opinion, the best build of him, 11 into defending, 8 into dex, 6 into dribbling, 5 into passing, 6 into aerial strength and lower body, and then 1 into goalkeeper, 1 to get that jumping up, I think you're going to be hitting all targets with this card. You're going to have every single defensive stat plus 95. Um, you know, tackling is well well over 95 at 101. Aggression is 99. You're looking to play a different game with Makalele, boys. You're not looking for him to be the long-limbed kind of like stopper in midfield like Vieira and Riker, where the ball is kind of coming into the into the passing lanes and the, and the flight of Vieira, where it's kind of like a homer missile. You're actually going chasing down with Makalele. It's a completely different style of game. Now, Makalele will still block and he'll still harry and he'll still hassle. But his best uh, attribute is literally just running after the ball, chasing after the ball, blocking passing lanes manually rather than letting the AI do it for you like Vieira and Rijkaard. 85 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 balance, 93 stamina. Uh, like Margot Robbie, he'll go all day. There's no problem with Makalele, lads. He will not run out of energy. This is a fantastic card. If you are looking for an in-game level DMF, and Vieira and Rijkaard, you already have those that you're looking to play a double pivot. I mean, he is one of the best stoppers and blockers combination. Him, Vieira, and Rijkaard, or whoever you put there. Now, if you have Vieira and Rijkaard, it is going to be a slightly different conversation. If you have other versions of Makalele, I think it's another conversation too. But yeah, basing him on just, you know, rating him on just this base card here, it is a really nice card. But let me know, guys, if you spin, or if you don't, let me know what the crack is, where you're at with the, with the spins at the moment. He does have Fortress as well, which is going to give a boost to his defensive capabilities if you're leading at half time. So if you go in 1-0 or 2-1 at half time, you'll get a boost to his defensive stats as well. So yeah, the big problem is I've heard already off people, it's taken a lot to get these cards. Some people have had to go very, very deep. So yeah, let me know if you spun, let me know if you're going to skip, let me know if you're waiting to see what's happening with eFootball 2025. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to check out the live stream. Hope to see you in chat later. We'll have a bit of news, a bit of chatter. And we'll, of course, we will try and spin and test out a few other players as well. So let me know what you guys think of these players and of this box. I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.